I wanted to work on the top of that other door so we can get it caught up to this one. But we got a lot of work into that bumper. I'm sick of seeing how sad it looks every time I open that garage door. We're gonna finish that bumper today. We're gonna be able to call it done. Well, almost. So in our trek down here to Florida, this went through snow, salt on the road, and finally ending up down here with salt in the air. So we got some surface rust happening here. If you haven't seen the video on this bumper, we shortened it on both sides. We added some end caps on it so it contours the body. We shaved the bumper bolts. These lights are actually the fender side marker lights from a C10. And the funnest part was grafting this lower billet grill from a Toyota Tacoma. And ultimately, I wanna suck it in closer to the body too. We never did come up with a permanent mounting solution for those lights though, so we're gonna have to do that today. Knock the ugly off of it and get the whole thing in a good epoxy primer so that way it's protected and we can do body work over epoxy primer. When the time comes, I love body work. I gotta do something about the lights in here. That's better. I haven't done much with the lights in here yet because, well, I got that. But, days are getting shorter though. I'll have to think of something. Because when it's dark out there, I can't really be hanging out in here with you guys. It's too dark. So I definitely need more lights. Especially when these doors are open. I saw on another YouTube channel, a larger channel, he had the LED strips on the bottom side of the door, like those. I asked him how well they worked, but of course, no response. I'll tell you guys, you always get a response from me. Oh, ugh, wrong size. Dang mini truckers and their low riders. Uh, I'll either reply or react to it with one of them one of them heart things. Do you guys know that the only one that can react to your comment with one of them heart things is the video creator? Now you know. Switch to something a little more practical. I don't even know how I'm gonna do these lights yet. We just got some back straps on there for now. So the way that I have these lights, they mount from the back side. That way I get a nice flush look on the front, just up to that chrome trim around it. I'll end up doing stainless screws, machine screws and nylock nuts. And that'll hold it to whatever bracket I make. Head supervisor's enjoying the sun today. She's not doing so good, guys. Hasn't eaten in three days. She's had pancreas issues for a while now, but now vet says she's got some sort of bowel disease. Anyway, I'm thinking I wanna make a backing plate that those lights will bolt to with those machine screws and maybe utilizing the bolts that hold the bumper bracket on. You guys watch the door template video where we started with a shower curtain? Works for more than just door panels. I was just about to clean this mess up, but table's gonna come in handy here for a second. It's been so hot here lately, I haven't really been working on the truck much, but I've been getting my pinstriping brushes wet. Even started a second YouTube channel, guys, for pinstriping. LT did it. But that's not what you guys came here for. We're hanging out doing hot rod mini truck stuff.
press down on those bumper bracket bolts with my fingers. Made a little mark in there. Yes, sir. So this piece works out because when I did that other door top over here, I traced the piece that I made for that under here already. So I'll cut both our brackets for these lights and that door top. Looks like a mess, but what I did there was I traced the template with the blue and then I straightened the lines out with the red. Right, here's what we got going guys. I got my bracket Obviously needs to be cleaned up a ton. I did trace it before I bent that Because we're gonna need one for the other side. There's two lights. So this is gonna back mount like that Fits in there nice in there nice and solid just like that but there's mounting holes in these lights and if there's gonna be holes in the finished product it's got to look like they're there for a reason this is a long nose marker it's great for marking holes like that I'll put an affiliate link down below for Amazon they're cheap super useful and if you buy one from that Amazon link down below it'll actually go to help the channel so we can hang out in the garage more making these super fun videos Sweet. Be happy. So, I got some stainless machine screws, but I don't seem to have any nuts for them. But we can at least line them up with those holes. So that's all lined up really good. And what we have is our light attached to this bracket that'll attach to the bumper using the bumper bracket bolts. And this is working out pretty well. This one is done, except it needs to be cleaned up. So we're gonna fire up the air compressor, get a die grinder, clean it up with some roll lock discs. Thing's about to fall right off the wall and I have what I need to fix that I just haven't done it yet I'll either get around to doing it or it'll make some great content one day so this one here is a 36 grit this one is actually more of a, a scotch bright pad brown one I'll just go over this with that and smooth it out as much as this will do it and set it aside and make the other one. <laughs> that never gets old. Well there's one. One light bracket ready for primer. You know the worst part about customizing cars? They have two sides. 
My biggest problem with doing this is that I do one side and I'm super excited because it turned out awesome. So I move on. Construction. I don't need any more neighbors. I already got one. Anyway, that's why I have one shaved handle, one door top made, one shaved fender light, one shaved rear corner light. <laughs> we gotta take a quick break from this bumper. Cause Idalia, Idalia, Idala, there's a hurricane coming. Actually, it looks like it's gonna stay way north and it's just gonna be a tropical storm down here. But just in case, I shoved all that over there. Got grandma's Buick in here. And I wanted to get the Silverado in here, but it's literally like an inch too long. Those hurricane braces on the garage doors would have hit the bumper on the way down. It would have fit over here, because there's a little more room there in front of the bar, but somebody put a big old camper in the way. Trailer for sale oh, well. in. Should be all right. Only thing I can do now is wait. I ain't got no cigarettes. Not much going on yet. Well, that was a whole lot of wind and a whole lot of rain, but we made it through with just a couple down porta potties in the neighborhood. Thunder. We'll be dealing with the outer band storms probably the rest of the night. But then we should be back to normal. Sunny normal. We got lucky, but our hearts are with everybody where it made landfall. It turned out to be a Cat 4 hurricane from what I saw. I truly hope you're all doing well. Morning, guys. What a great day to be alive. It is beautiful out. Even the birds are bumping. Sunshine, it's fine. Oh, we have our bad weather from time to time, but man, we love it down here. I got a Caribbean soul and Wisconsin in my heart. Did I just quote Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, kind of did. Speaking of Jimmy Buffett, I heard he passed away this morning. Tiki Willie will be out there in the front yard strumming Jimmy Buffett's all day. Rest in paradise, Jimmy. Dang, blew up my flip flop. A good YouTuber would have had the camera rolling for that. But don't worry guys, it wasn't all that dramatic. But we're back in business with bracket number two, ready to go. Well, that second bracket didn't turn out as perfect as the first one. Not like the first one was perfect. What I mean is I'm not as happy with it. It works, it works just fine. I'm gonna let it go and get it in primer with the rest of that stuff because it, like I said, it is gonna work. I'm just not super happy with it. I'm my own worst critic, especially with pinstriping. I think I hate everything that I do. Till the next day, when I stop paying attention to every little flaw. It's a super annoying trait to have, but at the same time it's good, cause that means you strive for better. And I feel like if I stop striving to do better every time I do something, then I'm gonna plateau out. I'm never gonna get any better. So if I have to remake this bracket, I'm okay with that. Because I think the dictionary says, practice is doing something over and over again, trying to get better. So instead of getting irritated with myself that I have to redo this, I'm gonna embrace it. Actually, I'm probably not gonna do anything with it, I'm just gonna leave it, but you know what I'm saying. Shining this light in here, I can see that there's some pinholes I gotta weld up. Then we'll clean all the surface rust off this thing, buzz over the whole thing with the DA, get the bumper and these new brackets in epoxy primer. That guy's in a big hot dog. What a wiener. Why? Why did I let this happen? I like old rusty things, but not on this truck. Maybe on that Model A. I was contacted by a company that wanted me to promote their concoction that causes rust. As cool as that is, it doesn't really fit into what we've been doing on the channel. And I respect your time, guys, because time is the most valuable thing in life. And if it doesn't fit into what we're doing right now, then I'm not gonna do it. Someday, like when we're working on that Model A, something like that would work out and it'd be cool. I was contacted by some DNA place too. Offered me 20% commission. But what does that have to do with us hanging out in the garage having fun? Nothing. Just can't believe that they would try to get me to waste your time. 
by using promo code DNA at www. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I said no. We got those welded up, but before I grind them down smooth-ish, these lights that I'm putting on that bumper like this were actually originally designed to be like this on a C10. Looking at the back side, it's got these holes. And what that does was make sure that number one, these lights don't fog up. And number two, any water that gets inside this can get out of it. Those holes aren't gonna do us any good though if we're mounting the light like this. Obviously we're gonna drill a hole in it. But then we're gonna get all sorts of plastic dust and crap on the inside of this and it's gonna be a pain to clean it out. So what do we do? So what I have here is an old crappy drill bit and some fire. Yeah, I'm heating that drill bit up. So we're gonna take our light here and we're gonna run that hot drill bit in reverse through the bottom of this light. Perfect. All right, I got that ground down, buzzed over it with 180, and it's nowhere near done, but we're gonna spray it with an epoxy primer so that way it's protected, and we can get other things caught up to that. I don't care what your wife says, don't throw away your metal coat hangers. These are great for garage stuff. Great for painting. <laughs> what do you think was in there? Spray Max 3680033. I'll put in an affiliate link for Amazon down below in the description. I'm doing this outside, so I really should break out my primer gun and epoxy primer, but I'm still gonna use this. I got a lot of it and I don't want it to go bad. If it goes bad, I don't know. I'm sure it does at some point. That's why it's in my fridge. But it's a 2K epoxy primer from Spray Max that's in an aerosol can. It's really the same thing that I would mix up and spray with my gun. It's catalyzed and everything. Got a little button puncture whatever it is in there and it releases the catalyst into the primer and it does its scientific chemistry stuff. Spray gun quality out of an aerosol cam that any blue collar dude like me can do at home. How neat is that? But lost a finger. It's been a heck of a couple weeks, guys. We almost got this licked, though. I mean, it ain't done, but it's ready for body work. So it's caught up to some other things and it's protected from getting any more rusty. And that was the goal. So that's a win for me. We'll just get this bolted on here quick. Then the head supervisor can do her inspections. Ugh. 
All right, I got the approval to move on. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Catch you guys next time. See you out there. King of the road.